video to explain the differences between primary and secondary references, to explain when you would typically use a secondary reference, and to talk about the differences in how you would cite a primary versus a secondary reference. The first piece to understand is that a primary reference is when uh, you use when you've actually read the original research. So for example, if in your research paper you want to cite Phillips and Paxwin 2015 and you actually read this journal article, then that would be a primary reference. If instead you wanted to cite or talk about the research found by Murphy 2003, that without actually reading Murphy 2003, you want to go based on whatever Phillips and Pexman have spoken about Murphy 2003, then that would be a secondary reference. You haven't actually read the original, you've read an interpretation, a report by somebody other than the authors and in a form other than the original publication. It's an interpretation by somebody else and you need to use secondary sources with caution because you rely on somebody else properly interpreting the information from the original article. The APA suggests that we use secondary sources sparingly. Within the context of this class, you, it is acceptable for you to use secondary references. I don't require that you have a reference list of 20 or 30 papers. In fact, I suggest against it. But when you would typically see a secondary reference in an academic publication might be if the original article is out of print or the original book is out of print, if the original is unavailable via the usual sources or mechanisms that you can access information, or if the original is not in a language that you can read. So for example, if the original weren't, were not in English, then you might read a translation or you might read pa Phillips and Pexman and hope that Phillips and Pexman interpreted and reported the research correctly. In terms of an in-text citation, what you would do, uh, you, if you were citing Phillips and Pexman, you would have your text here, and then you would go Phillips and Pexman 2015, and that would be how you would in-text cite a primary reference. If instead you were looking at citing a secondary reference from Phillips and Pexman, you would have your text here, then Murphy 2003 as cited in Phillips and Pexman 2015. And then you would continue your sentence. What that indicates to your reader is that you have not read the original research, that you are reporting on a secondary reference. In your reference list, you include all of your primary references, and you do not include your secondary references. So, if you were to cite Phillips and Pexman, as a primary reference, you would have Phillips C dot on and Pexman M, then the year, then you would have the title, Then you would have the journal title, italicized, journal of speech, language, and hearing, 
do a search, comma, then the volume number, 58. Next comma is actually not italicized. Fussy, I know, but APA has these details. Your page numbers. And a DOI. The DOI in this paper is right here. And then to finalize this, it's actually a hanging indent. So this is the reference that you would include in your, your reference list at the end of your paper. If you cited Murphy 2003 in text, but it's a secondary reference, you would just include Phillips and Paxman 2015. And you would include Phillips and Paxman 2015 even if you don't actually ever reference them in any other location. You're telling your reader where to find the information that you're using. In the case of Murphy 2003, you're telling your reader that they need to go to the Phillips and Paxman paper. So I hope that gives you a bit of a sense of the difference between primary and secondary references, when you should use them, and how they should be cited verification in case it wasn't completely clear. You include your primary and your secondary references in your reference list, but when you're including your secondary reference in your reference list, you would not include Murphy 2003. You would include Phillips and Pexman 2015 in your reference list. So if you didn't actually read Murphy 2003, then Murphy 2003 doesn't show up in your reference list. If you read about Murphy 2003 in Phillips and Paxman 2015, then Phillips and Paxman 2015 goes in your reference list.